Hey guys, it's Renizzle here. Um, so in this video, these are clips from my um, baptism that happened a month ago, a month and a bit ago, and this has been a really big change for me. Some of you know about it from my Instagram, um, and I just decided that I wanted to seek God um, due to a lot of things that have happened in my life in the past year and through my um, background since high school and growing up <clears throat> I never really seeked I never really felt any connection until I did on my birthday I went to a event called Designed for Women um, at the Nexus church in um, Everton Park in Brisbane um, if it wasn't for um, Trent Bell's little gig and the free tickets I won and meeting three lovely girls Shannon, Emma and Jess I don't think I would have became a Christian if it wasn't for them I just want to say a big thank you to them um, for you know I don't know, I just want to say a big thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and I value our friendship. Um, I love the fact that you're so welcoming um, for me and understanding and just always being there for me. I really, really just think you guys are such wonderful people and I couldn't have done it without you. Um, so yeah, here's some clips from my testimony throughout my, um, so it'll be my testimony, it'll be really emotional for me, and then it'll go straight to when I get fully baptised. I don't actually have anything, uh, like, anything after, any video clips afterwards, after that, like, the emotions I was feeling, like, I mean, I'm still the same person, but I f feel a lot is off my shoulders from my past and I could, you know, just, you know, live on, move on from everything and live my life with God um, and build that relationship with Him and I can't wait to build that strong relationship with Him and, you know, feel the love that it gives me every single day. I know that we all go through things but I know that everything I go through He's planned, you know, the better things that will come. Um, so, yeah, well, let's get straight into the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, also, let's get to 30 likes on this video. Probably won't, but let's just go 30. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. So here we've got uh, Michael. We've got Renee, we've got Rob, we've got Caitlin, Brenda, and we've got Brody as well. And so um, I might start over this side, if you don't mind, Michael, and uh, tell us a little bit about your story and uh, why you're here tonight, why you're making this decision. Okay. So I've never really grew up in a religious family. I've never ever felt a connection going to different um, services and since I lived on the Gold Coast for about five years and I was in a different religion but I never really felt that connection. So I moved to Brisbane about five months ago now so I ended up meeting some amazing people in the long run and I first attended the designed conference on my birthday um, believe it or not <laughs> 22 so um, I then f after that whole conference I was so overwhelmed by the love that I got from God and Jesus himself um, and that's when I finally realised that I really wanted to become a Christian. Yeah. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. 
Thank you, Renee. I never grew up in a religious family or knew that there was a God. I wasn't, it wasn't until later in primary school I learned that there was a man named Jesus and a God. But I never really understood that God loved me and Jesus wa wants to do life with me. I got invited to different churches to seek God, but I never felt any connection. So I turned, turned down, sorry, I turned those opportunities down. Throughout my teenage years, I developed depression because of my family, because of family issues and due to being bullied in high school. After school, I moved into state where I met someone who was part of a different church. I still never felt that connection, but I was even more curious. So I studied the Bible, but my still, but still my heart wasn't moved. After my 21st birthday, I lost my grandfather. It was such a horrible year for me. Things weren't going the way I planned. I made so many plans my whole life, but, I, but none ever went well. After being reunited with my mum and my mum's boyfriend was sent to prison and once again we were separated and I had to move out of my home. This cre created a bigger wedge between my mum and I. Eventually, I made the decision to move to Brisbane. After living on the Gold Coast for five years, I needed a clean start. The first week I moved to Brisbane, I won tickets to a music gig where I met three girls, Emma, Jess and Shannon. They all made me feel so welcome. When August came, my birthday month, I messaged Shannon and she invited me to the Design Women's Conference. There were inspirational speakers there telling stories and talking about God. One person stood out for me, Jemima. Her words and everything that she was saying was so amazing. I took so much from her. She then prayed and her prayer just hit me. I felt so much love for God from God. That's when I finally surrendered myself to God himself and I finally felt peace and joy. After the conference, I really had to think about what had happened to me and I went to church the following week with Shannon and I came to the conclusion that I wanted to fully become part of the family. Since that day, I show no fear and I trust God. I made this decision on my own and I'm glad I've met such an amazing people and I can't wait to continue my life with God. <laughs> so much like I can't explain my my joy and my happiness I just yeah that's all thank you thank you we're, we're going to pray for these uh, these guys and then they're going to head down and, and get ready for the baptism uh, if you want you can stretch your hand towards them as, as we pray Lord we thank you for this group of people who have chosen to follow you in the waters of baptism a simple act of obedience, God, and we pray and thank you for the blessing that accompanies that act. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, guys.
Got it? Got it. Do you know how to zoom in, zoom out? Yes, I do now. <laughs> I like the wrapping. Stole it from Becky. <laughs> oh, purple, purple. Do you like purple? Because I do. if you don't, I can get another one, but well, I'm not really approaching it. That's actually. a boss bookmark. Incredible. She's really cool. She's like this really straight down the line. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, yum. Oh Delivery. It's exciting. Oh, we need to get forks. Oh, yeah. But Thank she's you, just really sensible. Like, she's really sweet and, like, it's, it's really practical oh, advice. It's, so it's great. I need something new to read, so I'm glad yeah. to You don't have to read them right away. Whatever the house is, I'll speak to you, I think. Wise words. Wise words. Thank you. My pleasure. I think he's official with Tammy. Yeah, is it that same girl that he like? Okay, so that was all my vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my story and my um, testimony. It was really, really emotional for me. So daunting to get up on stage and just read out what my background was, you know, growing up in a non-religious family. Um, my mum's proud of me. I um, haven't really heard from my dad about that, those sides of things, but I guess, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And um, if you're ever going through a lot of things and you, you're not in that background of Christian Christianity or any religion, um, I really think you should maybe let God, you know, help you, guide you through the ups and downs because he's been there for me ever since my birthday, 5th of August. Um, that's when I finally realized that I wanted to become a Christian. So yeah, um, I guess that's all I've got to say and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, also subscribe, like and comment, share, whatever you want to do. Follow me on my social media. Um, also, I've recently got back into doing photography. If you want to go follow my Instagram there as well, please feel free. Um, yeah, I hope to come back to YouTube soon. Um, I don't know when, but yeah, I don't know when this video will be up, but um, I'm going to try and upload more when I can. We just don't have internet at the moment still. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely come back soon. So yeah, peace, love, and Renizel out.